Hi and welcome to another battle report. This is a 2500 points uh, between my listenmen and my opponent's uh, dwarves. So to start with uh, his deployment. From the right he have a cannon, then he have a unit of 20 thunderers, then he have a unit of a great weapon warrior with his battle stand appear in it. Then you have an organ gun with the rune that makes you reroll a, a tiller dice. Then you have a big bus of dwarf warriors. Behind that you have a gyrocopter. Then you have a unit of uh, hammers. And to the far left you have a unit of iron breakers. In that you have a rune smith and his general. And you can see in top bottom of the right in this picture I have five chameleon skinks scouted. So for my deployment in the top left corner I have some chameleon skinks, then I have five vanguarded reprodactyl, uh, then I have a, a colon riding scarlet with spear shield and dragon helm, a salamander, a unit of ten skinks with a level one, lore of heaven, ice shard, and also a Dispel Scroll. Then I behind that I have my Troglodon, a unit of Saurus. In that Saurus unit I have my Slum with Lawmaster of High and the Channel build. I also have the Bastildon in this picture. And to the right I have a unit of Skinks with another level 1 uh, Lord of Heaven Ice Shard. I also have the Black Cube and uh, in that I have my skink battle standard here. To continue over to the right side of the deployment, uh, from right I have the three pterodons, a racerdon, a unit of ten skinks with a skink chief with the flying special rule in it. Then I have a more unit of ten skinks with the. Um, uh, I don't think it have any characters in there. I have a Scarvet with Helmovitsa and Great Weapon behind the Skinks and another Salamander. Well, even though I have a crap ton of drops and he obviously get the plus one, uh, I actually get the first turn. And this is the right of my flanks and as you can see I pushes up my unit a bit. I am very careful to not have anything within 15 inches of the organ gun uh, and 12 inches of his thunders. I take my chameleon skinks out of their arc to shoot down the cannon and I swift reform the Saurus unit you can see in the bottom of the left corner of this picture into that building to keep them safe for the whole game. Uh, and the vessel don't take cover behind that fence from uh, cannon fire uh, for his next turn. Well, unfortunately, um, I uh, didn't get a good picture here. Uh, I still have problem with my camera. It did not really do what I wanted to do, always. Uh, but it basically just pushes up everything keep my distance away from his hammers and his iron breakers and uh, take my camera skinks closer to its line and that's basically it. Well, uh, in the medic phase I get 12 dice to his 6. Uh, I think generally during the whole game I got no less than 11 dice for the first 5 turn and I got 6 the last turn so I got a really crap ton of power dice. Uh, what he did for his turn, he will he spell eat my fire convocation. Unfortunately, I managed to do the arcane spell on his BSB and destroy that uh, bubble ward shape banner. Uh, and I do walk between worlds on uh, this razor on. Um, the thing is, um, when I did this spell, I thought, oh, this is a salamander. It's great, I'm going to do the flame template on his warriors. But uh, no, no, this is a Razor um, it's, it's a fucking stupid mistake. So, well, I ended up my races on there, and um, 
when I were supposed to shoot and I put down the flames and played my opponent remind me oh that's not your salmon that's a razor dome um, so that's why <laughs> I did that and um, shooting really didn't much I think I did some wounds on the warriors uh, you can see in this picture I took a wound on his cannon I killed some iron breaker or something and that's basically it for my first turn here is unfortunately another blurry picture but I just want to show that he basically pushes up his line a bit he takes his air coupler over to flame to plate my million skin and uh, yeah that's basically his movement and he also takes his general outside of his long beards uh, no his iron breaker unit because uh, the iron breaker units have the a frog from my reproductal frenzy on it, so he has moved the general outside, so I wouldn't be able to kill that. This picture is just showing a cannon. Try to take the shot, and my bus still done, but the cannonball gets stuck in the fence and didn't do anything. Uh, his organ gun and his thunderer, with combined effort, managed to kill my uh, Razodon, and that's it for dwarf first time. For listen and turn two, um, I fly my Terran behind his line, uh, drop some rock on his thunder, only do one wound and it survive. I move Camille Basking out of the arc of his gyrocopter uh, to shoot at the cannon once again. Um, I will actually kill it in this uh, shooting phase. Uh, on the other side, I will move my other 5 Camille to shoot at his uh, organ gun and will only manage to do one wound. Uh, what I also will do is I will, on the other flank, push up my salamander and shoot at his hammer. And it really did have a great effect on uh, them because they only have a 5 up armor save. In the magic phase, uh, I get off a miscast and on the arcane uh, on his general and destroy his armor and he suffers a wound. And that's basically what's happened in my turn. And as you can see, this is after dwarf movement phase. And uh, his hammer fails to charge the building. Uh, his warriors charge uh, some skinks who fled. He is great one warrior, shot from other skinks who also fled. And uh, well, that's it for his movement. His gyrocopter also moves up and uh, lay a flame template on my Camelon skinks, but uh, he has killed a few of them. And the organ gun will open up and kill the Pterodon in the shooting phase and that's the dwarf second turn well i didn't have any picture from my turn tree but not a lot of things happen i rally my troops and my reproductive fly up in the flank of his iron breaker you cannot see him in this picture but i think left of his iron breaker unit i took one of my Saurus uh, Scarvet, some cold one, in front of his hammer, and he charge uh, this Scarvet, and will of course, he will kill it, and um, that's it for my turn. The organ gun survives a hell ton of shots from my chameleon skinks. I think all two sixes on arm save this turn. So for dwarf turn, basically just pushes up everything. His yellow coupler in the top right corner charges my Camille Skinks and the Camille Skinks choose to run for it. And that's it for his movement. So this is my turn for as you can see I back off my whole line away from him. And my Camille Skink in the top of this picture managed to rally. And that's basically what happened in my movement phase on this flank. On the other flank, um, desperately a lot of things happened. Um, unfortunately, my Reprodactyl had to charge his Iron Breakers. 
in the flank and um, I kill like one or two of them, he do a wound on me, I lose and I lose my frenzy and we stick around and he reformed to face me. That is bad. But as you can see his hammers are running away. I do get off a miscast on a soul punch and kill not a lot of them. I lost to wizard level uh, in the meantime. And this salamander open up and breath down a lot of them. Uh, and they fail and they run as you can see, which was probably good for him, I, I think. Otherwise, he could have been in a real danger. Um, so that's it for my turn 4. Well, for his turn 4, as you can see, his helicopter here. Uh, charge my chemical skin and manage to catch them and unfortunately his hammer did not run off the table um, and um, his organ gun will shoot down my chameleon skinks and his uh, thunderers will have a really good run of shooting kill all of the skinks force them to take panic test which I break uh, but I will rather next turn, so nothing more to say than that. And uh, not a lot of more things happen in his shooting and movement phase. Well, um, in the combat with the Reproductile, his Iron Breaker wins, uh, I break. He didn't pursue, and he will turn around and face my line. Well, for my turn 5, um, I uh, rally my Reproductile, uh, I took out my Skink Priest and a Skink unit move forward, I didn't really think here very much, um, I was uh, thought that I would be able to do a double flea maneuver but um, it's not so good executed to be honest. Um, you can see that my priest will not flee straight backward, he will flee from the center, so he will end up away to the left. And then he have a free run to charge the skink. Um, so that was not a very good maneuver of my part. Uh, but, well, you will see what happened. Uh, otherwise I just move around, uh, stay away from his units, that's it. My, you can see a corner in the right of this picture of his uh, Great Falcon Warrior with his BSB in it. I send in my Scarlet with Helvets in it and uh, I managed to kill out his BSB. This is actually after my movement 6. Um, he didn't do much in his turn. Um, his Iron Breaker actually failed a redirection test after charging my Skink Priest, so they ended up they couldn't charge anything and they got a fail charge. Um, so for, that's basically what he done for my turn. I did a zero thing and charged my Reprotectile into his Gyrocopter. Uh, I don't know why. Um, I thought uh, with the charge and hopefully do a wound or two to break the thing, but no. That was a stupid mistake of me. I should have gone and hide it instead. The rest I just move around. I use my flying skin chief to stop his warrior from flank charging my cold one. And that's it for movement. And well, one bloody hammer survived my firing at him. One of them survived. And I didn't get anything for him. For the whole hammer unit, I did kill his general, but I didn't manage to kill that stupid hammer unit. So, well, otherwise, his warrior unit charges my skink chief and uh, kill him. Uh, the Sour's Cold One and the miners just. Uh, well, they're standing out there, down there, and killing some of them, or, well, my Cold One. Scarlet killed some dwarfs and the dwarfs don't do anything to me 
and um, he will in his final turn actually use his organ gun and kill uh, the salamander the gyrocopter will actually manage to kill the reproductile so it gets some points from there and that's the game I also want to mention that um, in the final turn the longbeard failed another <laughs> redirection first he charged my troglodon i choose to run for it and he was trying to redirect into my priest but he failed so he had failed like three leadership 10 tests for this whole game <laughs> and it's kind of ridiculous but that's how it is so the game ended up being a draw i think i have um plus 50, 60, 70 point-ish, something like that, but it's basically a draw and um, it's all thanks to these two guys if just one of them would have died instead of just standing there and being annoying I would have won this game, but unfortunately dwarves are tough they cannot just die and know what's best for them, they just have to stand there and uh, be annoying as I already told you, but well, I hope you like what you have seen. Uh, if you want, you can uh, either subscribe or like this video. Uh, I appreciate if you do so. Uh, that's all for me. I see you around.